What's up guys, welcome back to another review. I am the Cinematic Reviewer if you are new to this video, so welcome. Hope you stick around to watch my review of Squid Game. Yes, I was always curious, is it worth the hype? Because I heard lots of things from other people about it, I was recommended it a lot, and because it's a season, sometimes I struggle with seasons to watch them because I have kids, so some people can binge them all the way through. I sometimes have to watch little bits of each season, and it'd be quite... You know, quite difficult to be honest with you. But anyway, as time went on and I heard that it was like, it's now Netflix's most ever popular show, I thought I'd give it a go. Now, I was, I was flicking through Netflix looking for another film, which was 1917. I was waiting for that to come on and I was going to watch that. However, this preview of this season popped up and I was, I was curious. So I went on it just to watch the preview. And unfortunately, what Netflix had done obviously had shown the version with American accents. You know, the badly, badly dubbed over American accents that literally do not work. They shouldn't. If you're, if you're going to invest yourself into any film, you should watch it with the native language. I'm sorry, you should. Read the subtitles, watch them doing their, the acting they are doing from their own mouth, their own words, their own language. That's how you should watch anything. Don't watch a dubbed version. If anyone has watched a dubbed version from start to finish, one, wow, I'm quite impressed how you did that. To why? Because the reason being why is like it, it doesn't you don't have the same emotion, your raw emotion and everything. And a lot of the time you probably laugh at some of the bad acting during a very serious moment where really you should be invested in. So if you have watched it in the uh, American dubbed, badly dubbed version, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious, but I hope to God everyone has watched it in its native language. Now, if you are new to Squid Game and you're wondering what it's about, basically, in short, it's about a group of people who are all heavily in debt, and they are invited to take part in some games on an island in the middle of nowhere. So obviously, it's, I wouldn't say, have you anyone seen Battle Royale? It's got that sort of gist in a way, but it hasn't. It's got that sort of gist, but it's a tiny bit different to that. It's got that sort of same aspect if you've seen Battle Royale. However, it is different. Don't think I'm just comparing it to Battle Royale. There's some similarities in it, but there isn't at the same time. So. They obviously are, what, are told that they have to compete in some children's games, which seems simple enough, obviously, adults playing children's games, but obviously the stakes are a lot deadlier than they you know, believe. So obviously as people get eliminated and people get through, money is added to a massive piggy bank pot above their heads. Obviously you think to yourself, you know, there's a point where you think, is it worth my life to win that money? But as time goes on, you start to learn that people are more desperate and it shows, it shows that they're more desperate for that money than you think. Now, the characters, we follow, to begin with, one main character as he, you know, you, we build up on his, life, on his story. We understand where he's coming from. And as time goes on, we learn more and more about him. And I'm, I, I love the guy, I, I really do. Unfortunately, I'm crap with names. I'm bad in, with English names and meeting people in general as it is. So trying to give you names from these actors and these characters is not going to happen. My favourite person in it... And I'll say this straight away, I love the guy. If no one loves this guy, you have no heart. There's something not there. You know who I'm on about. Player one, the old man. Love the guy. Fantastic. I don't know what it is. I just love him. I think he's brilliant. Like, absolutely adore the man. Absolutely adore him. And the actor, he's brilliant. There's like things in it that he, do, he does that make me laugh. Um, things he says, things he comes out with, his knowledge. The reason he's there, because he's such an old man. And he's the first one there. He has his own reasons. I'm not going to go into it too much because I don't want to spoil it. I want you guys to go into it as fresh as it can be. Because a lot of people give away too much and then, you know, you're stuck. But it doesn't go as the way I thought it would go. And it was good in the sense that, like, the games, they take their time with the game. So if you're watching this thinking, oh, I'm just going to sit down, invest myself and watch these games and watch people be eliminated in horrible, gruesome ways, it will take time. It's not going to go game, game, game every single episode. There are moments where there are games, you know, during an episode naturally, but it's stretched out. You're learning about the characters. You're learning about this story. There's a lot more people and a lot more things going on. Even within the actual place, there are people sort of corrupt doing their own thing to make money on the side. 
little things like that. It's not just a straightforward routine, as it were. There's a lot more going on. And I really enjoyed that. And like I say, as every single season, I, sorry, season episode ends, you will want to go on to the next episode. It's like that. That's why it's very, I think I understand why the hype, because it keeps you hooked. It keeps you invested and it is worth it. The acting's great. The story is really good. You know, some people might not like it because it's not Probably, I don't know really how, like with, with some of the games, like there's the odd game that I, I found quite boring. I didn't feel the tension. Like there were some things where you thought the characters, even though it was a tense moment, you thought, well, they're probably safe anyway. You know, those moments where you have to try and think to yourself of what happens if this happened? Because foreign cinema sometimes will pull the rug over your eyes and do something that Hollywood wouldn't do. They'd like kill off a character that you would think is all the way through it or something like that. I'm not saying this happens here. What I'm just saying is when you go in on it, you might, you know, you probably don't feel as safe and secure with these characters as you would from like a Hollywood base film. But honestly, guys, I do believe the hype. I do understand it. Um, it is really good. There are moments that get slow and it takes time to build. Yes, there are moments like that. But invest yourself in it. Really give it the time. It's a bit, it's a bit, something, something, it's something worth watching. Sorry, I'm stuttering there. Sometimes I forget what to say. Um... But honestly, it is worth your time. It's something fresh and new to watch. It's very colourful as well in its own way. A lot of it is practical. You know, a lot of some things, you know, there's not much CGI used in it, from what I can see. A lot of practical stuff, so it feels very real. And you really invest yourself in You get into depth with the characters. And some people, even people that you probably hate, you still invest yourself in them a little bit because you want to learn more about them. But there's a lot going off in it, and it's not just a straightforward... Contestants go in a room, they have a few games, die, 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 and then see if someone wins, end off. Or like there's a cliffhanger at the end of that. It's literally has a lot more to it, a lot more going on to keep you busy. So yes, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully that's a decent review for you, as, as I can say, really, off the top of my head. I've filmed this about eight times. <laughs> I kept getting it wrong. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Let me know if you've watched it, more likely you have, in the comments below. And if you've watched it in the native Korean language, which I completely recommend in every shape or form. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time for another review. Bye guys. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share as well. I need people. Mm. See you later.